Hey, what's up? It's another Mix It Up podcast. I'm your host, Joel Hawkins. And of course, I'm here with my dancing buddy, H. <laughs> Jones. Well, that's what you were doing a second ago. I you was, even kind of did it at the beginning. I was going to make fun of what you were saying and you changed the words. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. Ha, trickery. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be doing something a bit different. We're going to be doing a, a, a video game is coming out soon. I can't wait because I don't even know what it's about. But just the reveal trailer was like so many possibilities to it you know so i saw like a little bit of it but i wanted to show h because i think he'd trip out plus it's got a little bit of music in there too uh what we're going to be checking out is the reveal trailer for south of midnight which is a video game coming out on xbox and pc i'm kind of excited about it because it'd be something completely different it's based in the american south Mm uh music they say music's involved and not involved like you're throwing musical notes at people that'd be weird <laughs> but uh there's been games like that you know there have been i mean look at remember parappa parappa <laughs> is tomahawk eighth notes it was so long ago man <laughs> i'm old bitches so yeah um <laughs> so yeah we're gonna be checking out the reveal trailer and then we'll kind of discuss uh certain things that people have talked about it you know the hype on it which I just hope it is what it is, but let's go ahead and check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when new things are coming out. And do me a favor. Check out the MK5store.com. If not, it's okay. Or if you need graphic design, web design, video pre and post production or something like that, or printables or deliverables or whatever else, uh, make sure you go to MK5studios.com. They're dope. They get things done. They're very efficient. You should check them out. Yo. Okay. They're sponsor. They're the sponsor for today's show. <laughs> they hustle. So uh, let's uh, check this review game trailer out. from Compulsion Games. <laughs> Love how they put that in there. <laughs> Mississippi. It's very cinematic. Death don't have no mercy in this land. <laughs> Death don't have no mercy in this land. He'll come to your house and it won't stay long. You look in the bed and somebody be gone. Death don't have no mercy. In this land. Shaking bones. Been a while. <laughs> so, you remember that favor you owe me? He's big. <laughs> he must be a god. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a creature. Huge, sneaky. Teeth like knives. No? Well, hey, how about you guys? No? It Nobody? Say, come to come your to house. house. Yeah. <sighs> Not helpful. Mm-hmm. Sneaky. Okay, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a little bit of an open world. Mm -hmm. Now, I did see that it was already, it was a third person playable game. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping that at least it's like a Resident Evil remake, you know, like they've been doing like four and three and all that. I'm hoping it's same gameplay style somewhat. You know, of course, they're mad. She's a magic user, obviously, yeah. because that's 
not a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it'll have a bit of comedy because it had it just in here with her yeah. drawing out the monster. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like a giant amoeba, by the way. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just looks so flipping interesting. I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's American South. It feels more specific to like Louisiana. Definitely Little the Mississippi. swamp. There was a sign that said Mississippi. Yeah, but that feeling is, that's Creole. That's in no it's way, shape, or form Mississippi. That's what it said. I read it in the beginning. That's very Creole. I agree. But it said Mississippi. So it's Mississippi. It's that 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 tiny bottom piece of yeah, Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> just right there. <laughs> that part. I mean, it's very Louisiana Creole. I mean, the the I think it's a god, but I think he, his name was Shaking, Shaking Bones. Bones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have to look that. You know what? Let's looking up now which by the way i want to know what song that is because that's a good song too like i wonder Maybe who wrote it well, hold on. Wait, wait, reverend reverend gary, gary davis. davis death don't have no, no mercy, mercy. Maybe that's did they wrote. make a music video with this or did they just uh-huh. you could pause here play that see if that's what it is if it's not we just unpause and keep going if it is then we just keep going Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and watch. The, I mean, there's somebody who who had the actual song, but they uh, cut a bunch of this gameplay footage to make it last longer. But uh, we're actually going to listen to the whole song of that, too, because I really want to hear Death Dawn. Okay, well, let's watch it. Let's watch it. So we get a double, a double feature today. Double whammy. Double whammy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was a little much. I'm okay with it because I can't get enough of this style. You don't hear a lot of blues at all anymore. Very skip James. Death don't have no mercy in this land. Death don't have no mercy in this land. You come to your house and it won't stay long. You look in the bed and somebody be gone. Death don't have no mercy in this land. Well, death will go in any family in this land. Death going every family in this land. Mm. Well, it'll come to your house and it won't stay long. Well, you look in the bed and one in the family will be gone. Death will go in any family in this land. Well, he never takes a vacation. In this land Well, on death never take a vacation In this land Well, it'll come to your house And it won't stay long You look in the bed And your mother will be gone Death never takes a vacation In this land Talk Somebody will be gone. Death will leave you standing. 
crying and crying in the land. Oh, death always in a hurry in the land. Oh, death always in a hurry in the land. When he come to your house and he won't stay long You look in the bed and your mother will be gone Death always in a hurry in the land Well, he won't give you time to get ready in this land Well, he won't give you time to get ready in this land Oh, well, they come to your house and it won't stay long. Well, you look in the bed and somebody will be gone. Death won't give you time to get ready in the land. Make your last talk. <laughs> something about the blues that it's it's like background music for introspection mm-hmm. like you know jazz is something that that can like it feels like it it sews together portions of your life you know when you've listened to it but with the blues it's almost like it's just your foundation for anything that's just introspection like when you're having a bad time or you learn for heartbreak like okay so no one searches for poetry just because no one searches for meaning no one searches for emotion no one searches for music like it's funny how it takes a f- effects of emotional distress before you actually do understand art better hmm. Like if you've had your heart broken and experienced loss and it's like you never read poetry before, but now this poem makes perfect sense yeah. on explaining your life. Or you never really liked this style of music until you actually experience that kind of heart wrenching depth. And then the blues just means everything to you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's like that foundational thing that exists and it's like glue that holds together your life because a lot of people say that you should live your life and just be like, you know, happy, positive, and nothing's going to go wrong, and blah, 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 and you don't want to think about negativity, and don't get me wrong. They're right, in a sense. But for the most part, to feel sorrow, to feel sadness, to feel regret, to feel betrayal, to feel all these different emotions, it's better to have enough experience that you understand them more because you won't end up making your life worse because the people who've never failed when they do fail and it's, it's been years it's catastrophic <laughs> they don't yeah. know how to come back from it depression says yeah. it like it affects you so much worse than if you grow up knowing different emotions and different mm-hmm. feelings that's why i always say people who grew up like supremely rich and taken care of and everything done for them are pretty much done a disservice they're not mm-hmm. as much they're not as developed as a normal human being. Yeah, they haven't gone through loss. Gone no, through much. they haven't. And they've gone through minor things here and there. But when you have everything taken care of for you, you don't really feel those feelings and that full expectation of not knowing what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, and poetry and music and television and movies and art uh, in general will be able to speak to you on a different level because you have that that vulnerability mm-hmm. that opening like you can understand it more you can connect to it better so i mean reverend gary davis thank you sir for this song that don't have no mercy it's really a great it song and perfect to make south of midnight the video game seem dope dude <laughs> <laughs> i haven't even seen the gameplay and i'm like i can't wait for this to come out i wish we come out now which by the way i, I 
I have seen some things on it, like what it's going to be. They say it's third person. They say it's not open, open world, but it's, I'm just hoping it's not like Call of Duty where you can't go anywhere else. You have your specific mm-hmm. road to go down. Yeah. Because those games you beat in five hours and it's like, now what? Now what? I'm do multiplayer and <laughs> fight people online that I don't want to talk to in real life. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, don't get me wrong. I do like Call of Duty, but you have to be in a specific mindset of like, I just want to play a game a couple times and then go off and do other stuff. Mm. Like games I like are ones that are, you know, got a couple hours that you need to get rid of. That's <laughs> what you need to do. Yeah. But uh, no, the, I mean, as for the song, amazing. Love it. As for the video game, I'm so flipping excited. I can't wait. I mean, what'd you think of the song, and then what'd you think of the video game? Yeah, the song just makes me want to go back and listen to some blues. I know, right? Like I'd, Skip James or Howlin' Wolf or something. I don't know. Muddy Waters. Muddy oh, no. Waters. I totally forgot about Muddy oh, Waters. No. When I was in college doing more singing and jazz, that's that was probably the last time I just would listen to blues. Yeah, Muddy Waters was good. I like Skip James probably out of everything, and I think... Uh, the movie, uh, oh, I've got some sorrow. What was that movie called? Oh, sing, brother, sing, wore sing out it now. Again. Sing it again. Of constant sorrow. <laughs> you know when he goes to the higher part. Anyways, <laughs> oh, brother, wore out now. When I saw that movie, and they, uh, uh, Chris Thomas King was on there, and he played one of Skip James' songs, uh, "Killing Time Floor Blues." Mm. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's my new favorite song. I didn't know anything about Skip James. Like, it, supposedly he was the guy who showed up at Juke Joints and would play. And the rumor of he sold his soul to the devil to learn how to sing and play like that because he came mm. out of nowhere. Mm. And then he would like disappear for a decade and then come back and play like 30 shows and then disappear again for a decade. And people were like, this dude's weird. <laughs> But he would actually, he actually was hired to travel to like Germany and play songs. Like Germans were really into his stuff, which I was like, y'all know he's black, right? <laughs> Cause this was like, I mean, he lived and played music from, I think it was the twenties and thirties and forties. Mm-hmm. So right around the time when yeah. stuff was crack a in a bad way. <laughs> and they're like, Hey, would the black man like to come play music? <laughs> no, it was like 50s or 60s when that happened. But still, I mean, he was like 60 or 70 something playing in Germany, like on television, playing Killing Time Floor Blues and all this stuff. And I'm like, wow, dude, that speaks to how good and talented a musician and a songwriter you are. Mm-hmm. When some people from a different country before the Internet found out you existed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's impressive reach. I mean, he's no Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Germans love Hasselhoff so much. That dude puts out a single still, and he makes top number one. Yeah. I don't want to say this, because I know you're going to make me listen to it, but I've never heard of one of his songs that I can think of. I've never heard of one of the songs. I know, but, the, but I don't me, want to hear one okay, of the cool, songs. Okay, cool. I didn't want you to be like, well, up next. No, no, no. No, I don't want to listen to his song because I know what style he's doing. It's the same as Eurovision and all that stuff. Like, it's mm. that same style, which Eurovision is not like that anymore. They, they have, like, a bunch of different styles of artists and whatnot. I just laughed my ass off when I saw that video of that movie with Will Ferrell. Have you seen it yet? Which one? Which one? Look up Eurovision Will Ferrell and you'll find the movie. I can't remember what it's called. Oh. Fire and Ice or something like that. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. No, that was the... Anyways, I'm not going to that. <laughs> that, that was a different movie. <laughs> that was the ice skating movie. <laughs> no, that was Blades of Glory. Yeah, Blades of Glory. With a fire and ice. <laughs> Don't use my mane and tail. <laughs> <laughs> He's made a lot of funny movies. Uh, damn it. Anyways, but uh, as for this video game, dude, I'm kind of stoked. I can't wait. I when hope they come out. It's a little bit more. They haven't released a date yet. Oh, okay. Which so is gonna, they're working year? on the gameplay trailer to release as soon as possible. So I'm hoping it's awesome. She's obviously a magic user. It's not going to be like gunplay or anything, but maybe swords or something like mm. 
not just magic because that would be boring you got to have a mix of stuff you know you gotta have a gun yeah I'm, I'm waiting for them to come out with some of these tv shows and movies after video games that are supposed to be a lot better like the mm-hmm. tv show for twisted metal surprisingly better than i thought it was going to be yeah yeah so i'm hoping to goodness that the bioshock movie is awesome i mean they mm-hmm. got the right people behind it like borderlands is coming out with a movie eli roth is directing it that would be They got Jack Black playing Claptrap. It's hilarious. Hmm. Okay. He would actually do pretty good. I wonder if they're going to like hype up his voice or just keep his voice normal. Because if his voice was hyped up to match Claptrap's tone, then it would work perfectly. But if it was just his voice, yeah, I think he could still pull it off. It'd still be funny. Anyways, sorry, guys. I've been literally staring at him the whole time. I apologize. (laughs) Or off in the distance. It's okay. They wouldn't want to say <laughs> Anyways, so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when new things are coming out. Don't forget to check out mk5store.com. And our sponsor for today's video, as usual, is mk5studios.com. <laughs> check them out. They do graphic design, web design, video, pre and post production. They don't have to live in your city to work on your projects. So That's very true. It's <laughs> very true. It's very true. Plus, we uh, they work on like multitudes of projects from what is it called? Like a. Uh, Everything. Website design, uh, printables, promotional materials. You say deliverables? You and deliverables. I don't know if that's a word. It didn't feel like yeah. a word. It sounded like a word. It didn't feel like a word. Documentation, PDFs, that's deliverables. I know, but just saying deliverables. Branding guides, <laughs> deliverables. <laughs> it yeah. didn't feel like a word. Deliverables <laughs> is a freaking word, man. It sounds like a word. It doesn't You're feel like a word. You're in the same industry. You should know what a deliverable is. I know. It just doesn't feel right. <sighs> okay. Deliverables. Deliverables. <laughs> okay. Anyways, better health, better wealth, my friends. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>